thank Jack and uh, Ron here for calling us young ladies. We really yes. appreciate that right off the top of the bat. But um, no, what, what you can say about this team, this team was great. Um, it was a lot of fun, it was a lot of work, but um, you know, what we accomplished and everything, it was, it was amazing. Um, our, the, the conference was only five years old when we won, and we were the only uh, team downstate that uh, didn't win their conference. So, I mean, it was a tough conference at the time what we played, so. I think as uh, when we were freshmen or sophomores and juniors, we did not quite realize what the impact of qualifying or winning each game. We just kept playing the Prince, Eye of the Tiger, and a lot of CPS pizza that I think the parents had more fun after the games than we actually did, but that was all a parent thing. So uh, as parents and as we've, uh, as we've matured from, hmm? we blossomed. We uh, blossomed. Thank you, yes. Um, I think we have better memories and we've been able to appreciate it more and, and appreciate the support that came from the St. Edward and the Elgin community and that um, it's just phenomenal. As Coach Harrington said, this is one of the only organizations that truly honors and supports uh, from the time you're in high school to when we have blossomed to mature young women now. And we got, a, we got invited to two Bulls games, yeah. and uh, after one of those Bulls games, we got to meet the Rookie of the Year, Michael Jordan. Yeah. That was the, that that was was the coolest, the highlight, yeah. the highlight of the things. <laughs> Just, uh, yep, go. Yep, I had the Tiger when we came out to U of I, uh, then the tournament was at U of I, we all laid down in the eye. That mm -hmm. was the big goal, coming out of the tunnel, laying down in the eye. Um, and uh, looking up and thinking, wow, we, what are we doing here? And one of the boys basketball coaches at St. Ed's um, made a remark that watching girls basketball was like watching paint dry. <laughs> well, hate to say it, but the, uh, the boys didn't even get to paint that year. No. I don't, I don't even think they picked up a brush. No. They didn't even pick up a brush, so. Hard <laughs> Johnny wave. <laughs> um, we had uh, John Theriot, who was a classmate of 87, was our Johnny Wave, and that was the first mascot. He got so excited, he was removed from the floor. Yes. I think after the third quarter of the championship game. Yep, yep. It was memorable. And the announcers thought that he looked like a pickle. Yeah. They didn't know what he was. And then our first televised um, state team, or, or the state game down there, they... Um, they had up on the screen, and the announcers were calling us Elgin St. Howard. So I guess we were Elgin St. Howard Pickles yeah. with that. <laughs> so, hey, you know what? Yeah, How about, that was it. Yeah. That was it. Um, so I know that um, I have the distinct honor of now coordinating and being the administrator responsible for the high school girls basketball state tournament. And that is something that I get to think about these young ladies every time. And it's just an amazing feeling. It brings back memories. So thank you very much for um, bringing us back together. I think we're going to stay in better touch moving forward. That's for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Ron.